Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to teach you about recursion in Python. Recursion allows us to call a function within a function. I've already created a Python file and now let's go ahead and import the OS module. So we'll say import OS. The reason why we want to import the OS is to list directories and show contents within those directories. So now we have this, let's go ahead and create our main function. And after we create our main function, we're going to say print os dot get cwd. What this is saying is from the os module, use the get cwd command to get the full current working directory of our file here. So let's go ahead and save this and run this program by typing Python in the name of this file. As you can see, here is my full directory path. Now let's say we wanted to see the files within this directory. We can do that using the os.lister command. So we'll say print os.lister, open and close parentheses. So if we run this program again, you're going to see that the file is this Python file, which is this instance here. What if we wanted to go into the PC here and list the directories? We can do that if we go into the lister, put dot dot forward slash and save. And as you can see, it shows everything within this directory. But say we wanted to do this recursively instead of having to constantly do the dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash we can actually do that programmatically using recursion. Let me show you how to do that now. So let's clear the screen here and then let's go ahead and comment this out and comment this out. And now let's create a function here that will be our template for our recursion. We'll say def space rec open and close parentheses add a colon at the end. So we want to use the os.getcwd command in order to get the current working directories and its subfolders. When I say subfolders I mean anything before the current working directory. So for instance, the desktop and before that is the PC and before that was home and before that is root. I am on Linux so your file structure may be different if you're using Windows. You may see C forward slash users. It depends on what operating system you're using. So let's go ahead and set the variable name for os.getcwd by saying full directory is equal to os.getcwd open and close parentheses. Now let's go ahead and send this to our rec function here. The way we do that is by calling rec open and close parentheses in those parentheses send in full directory. Let's save this. Now let's go ahead and create a argument within the REC function. So we can say FD for full directory. And now let's go ahead and hit enter. Okay, now we need to establish our conditional statements. We'll say if open and close parentheses FD double equals open and close parentheses blank. Why am I doing this? Well, this is saying if the current directory is empty, then do something. So let's go ahead and add a colon at the end and say print recursion stopped and then return. Okay. Now let's add our else statement. So else, add a colon at the end. So what do we want to do now? We want to recursively go backwards until we've reached the end point or that 
this FD is blank. We know that the directory has a forward slash. We need to remove the name after the forward slash, but we only want to remove the last item or the last name after the forward slash. The reason why we want to do that is to send it back to itself, but with a new name. We need to format the directory and we can use the R split function in order to do that. Let's go ahead and do that now. So I'll say format directory is equal to and we know that FD represents our current working directory and then we need to say dot R split open and close parentheses then we need to send in what we are going to split on we're gonna split on the forward slash add a comma and then we have to specify which item we are going to split on and we want to specify one because that is the last item within the string FD. Now let's go ahead and hit enter and recall the REC and then we'll send in format directory at index zero. Why do we use at index zero? As you recall we used R split and this R split created a new array. It has two items in it. It has the full directory and the single directory. For example, if we had home and then PC forward slash desktop here, this R split is splitting at this last forward slash. So all that is remaining at index zero is this forward slash home forward slash PC. Now let's go ahead and add a print statement before the splitting. So we'll say print and then we will say FD. Let's save this and let's run this program by typing python rec.py as you can see it went to the full directory here then it took off the forward slash desktop that's what this r split is doing and then it returned the index zero here and then it took off the forward slash pc and then it returned just the forward slash home and then finally the recursion stopped because FD was equal to blank. Now if you wanted to list all the files within each directory it's as simple as calling os.listdir. So let's go ahead and say print os.listdir open and close parentheses and send in FD we use FD because it is changing every time we call REC in the function itself. Let's go ahead and clear the screen and rerun the program. As you can see, it shows everything within each directory. I hope this has helped you understand how to use recursion and how powerful it is when traversing through directories. Thank you all for watching. I invite you to subscribe and I hope to see you next time.